Good morning, students. Today we are going to study about a poem, A House, A Home, by Lorraine M. Helly. This is the first poem in our NCRT book, Class 6, Honeysuckle. Students, before we start, let's just discuss first, what do you mean by a home? What do you mean by a house? Or do you think there is any difference between them? I'm sure you must have thought about it. Must have got confused as well. Some children think both have the same meanings. Not to worry. Today this poem will clear all your doubts and ensure a proper understanding of the concept. So let's recite the poem together. What is a house? It's brick and stone. And wood that's hard? Some window glass and perhaps a yard. It's eaves and chimneys and tile floors and stucco and roof and lots of doors. What is a home? It's loving and family and doing for others. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing and showing your loved ones you're always caring. Now let's first discuss about the aim of the poem. The first aim of the poetry is always to enable the students to appreciate the beauty, rhyme and style of the poem. It is also to develop a taste of poetry reading and writing. But the specific aim of this poem is to make children understand the meaning of a house as well as a home. And also to mark their difference, to understand the difference between them. Now, I will explain to you about the poem line by line. What is a house? In the first stanza, in the first phrase, the poet is asking a question. What is a house? It's bricks and stones and woods that hard. In the further phrases, he's explaining the meaning. He's defining what a house is. The poet says, that a house is made of brick, stone and wood. These are all the materials required to build a house. Some window glass and perhaps a yard. In house, there are also windows made of glass and sometimes there is a yard as well. Perhaps means Maybe. And her yard means a grassy area right outside the house. It is often surrounded by a fence. It's eaves and chimneys. Here, eaves means the part of a roof. And chimneys, as we all must know, that a channel or a pipe which conducts smoke and combustion from fire. We normally find it in kitchens in house. And tile floor and stucco and roof and lots of doors. In house, there are also floors, tiles, stucco, roofs, and lots of doors. Here stucco means a plaster, a fine plaster which is used for coating the wall surface.
In the second stanza, poet is raising a question again. What is a home? It's loving in family and doing for others. As for the poet, a home consists of a loving family where people do work for each other's well-being. They love each other and share a wonderful bond. It's brothers and sisters and fathers and mothers. Here poet is emphasizing the relationships in a home. A home consists of brothers, sisters, fathers and mothers. There are so many relationships in a home. It's unselfish acts and kindly sharing. In a home, people do unselfish acts. This means people do selfless acts for each other. They are ready to do anything for their loved ones. And showing your loved ones you're always caring. In a home, people share and care for each other. So students, it was a lovely poem. I hope you enjoyed too. Now let's just have a quick recap of the same. What is a house? A house is made up of brick, stone, wood, window glass, yard, eaves, chimneys, floors, stucco, roof, and lots of doors. But a home is made up of a loving family where people protect each other, where people do unselfish acts for the loved ones, where they share each and everything and care for each other. Thank you. Have a good day.